Agandhi viewers, welcome to today's episode of Load Shedding, a show that focuses explicitly on the current affairs pertaining to the continent of Africa. Today we shall be focusing on a controversial topic. My name is Case Kiwinda. Normally I prefer to steer clear from generalizing as much as possible, but sometimes it's safe to make an assumption. And on a continent where public affection is mostly either frowned upon or even against the law, we can safely say that sexuality is a taboo topic in society, on most of the African countries. And Tanzania is no different. But recently it hit the news with regards to just that, sexuality. You see, government has announced plans to publish a list of gay, gay men allegedly selling sex online. And this announcement comes days after government cracked down on AIDS clinics that they say allegedly uh, promote homosexuality. The Deputy Health Minister of Tanzania, Dr. Hamisi Kigwangala, has been very vocal on the matter and has turned to Twitter to voice his opinion regarding this very same topic. Now, in a nutshell, and I paraphrase, he says that uh, it is not a laughing matter, it's no joke. He will publish a list of gay men that are selling their bodies online. Furthermore, he says that the government has very long arms and they will find the perpetrators and once they have been quietly arrested, they will be forced into helping the government find other gay people. Now, the penal code in Tanzania against homosexuality or sexual act between two men is highly punishable. Now, the, punish the offense is 30 years to life imprisonment. Strangely enough, for lesbian women, uh, there is no such law. Now, it's turning into a true manhunt because it has been reported that uh, men that are accused of being homosexual are being taken to hospital where anal tests are being conducted upon them to see if they're partaking in any physical homosexual activities. Now, on top of that, government has been cracking down on private clinics that are aiding homosexual men that have HIV or AIDS-related diseases and are being helped by these clinics uh, in, in those related causes. Now, this is obviously a violation of human rights because Anybody, regardless of their sexuality, is entitled to health care. In the press conference, the health minister of Tanzania, Umi Molimu, has stated that 40 drop-in centers that are run countrywide by NGOs and provide services with regards to HIV and AIDS have been closed down by government as they have been accused of promoting homosexuality in the country. The health minister has further said that 23% of the men uh, having sex with men are HIV positive. Now, where the minister gets these figures from is unknown because in the Western world it is already quite difficult to um, see how many men of the population are uh, homosexual. Now, in a country like Tanzania where homosexuality is actually an offense, it is even more difficult to determine how many men are actually homosexual and therefore it is impossible to know how many of the men that are homosexual uh, are HIV positive or have AIDS. Now the whole irony on the situation, irony for lack of better words, should not be lost. You see, Tanzania has been booking successes on the matter for almost two decades and this targeting of homosexual men and especially homosexual men that are HIV, that are HIV positive or have AIDS can completely destroy the successes that they've been booking over those two decades. Now, in fact, there has been help from the outside world with combating uh, the HIV rates, um, especially PEPFAR, for example, which was set up by George W. Bush in 2003, has used Tanzania as a model country where the project was working. Now, PEPFAR was backed with over 65 million US dollars, and some of that money had been pumped into uh, Tanzania in combating the, the rates, the rising rates at the time of HIV in Tanzania, and they had managed to successfully drop it from over 12% to 5% of the population. And in fact, in the past five years, they've managed to help people get treatment from over 200, from 289,000 to over 700,000 people getting treatment. So you see, uh, targeting these men that are both homosexual and HIV positive or have, having AIDS, preventing them from getting medication will undermine all those successes that have been booked. Another person in Tanzania that is rather vocal against, vocally against homosexuality is the regional commissioner of Dar es Salaam, Mr. Paul Makonda, who says that anybody that follows a homosexual person on a social network, 
or a social platform is just as guilty as the homosexual person himself. Furthermore, the country has banned the distribution of lubricants that help in preventing the tearing of condoms. And condoms, as you may know, are considered highly effective in preventing the transmission of HIV. According to UN reports, at least 76 countries worldwide have criminalized homosexuality, with 33 of those countries being in Africa. Now, most Africans or African politicians, governments, whatever, would say that homosexuality is a phenomenon brought by aid groups to Africa. Now, with regards to HIV and AIDS, the US government has managed to dissuade many African politicians from interfering with projects uh, with regards to reducing the rates of HIV and AIDS in Af on the African continent. But the US has failed to do the same with regards to the stance that po these politicians have on homosexuality. So folks, that was my topic for today. Now, with regards to the subject, personally, I think that homosexuality is a very sensitive topic. I mean, as mentioned earlier on, sexuality is not really spoken about on the African continent, and I don't think that the continent at large is ready for discussing the topic of uh, LGBT rights. Having said that, I am rather perplexed and disappointed that men that are homosexual and have HIV or have AIDS-related diseases are being uh, prevented from getting the medical treatment that they need. I think that everybody, regardless of their sexuality or gender or whatever, should be getting treatment if the treatment is there, readily available. Uh, these people should be allowed to go and get treatment. Now, I'm curious as to what you think. Please let me know. What do you think should be done on the matter? Do you agree with the Tanzanian government that yes, homosexuality for men is a criminal offense and the men should be sent to jail for 30 years or life imprisonment? And do you think that even women should be sent to jail for the same offense, being lesbian? And do you also agree with the government that these men or women should be prevented from getting treatment with regards to being HIV positive or having AIDS related diseases? Or are you more of the opinion that anybody should be able to profess their sexuality uh, and that uh, anybody has the right to treatment if treatment is there? Let me know. I'm curious as to find out what your thoughts are. That was my topic for today. Um, please join me again for the next episode. In the meantime, please subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to me on Facebook as well. That's it for today. Good day. Bye-bye.